Um, Lil Nas X is going around dressing Lil and Purple acting. Rain, Lil Rick Fox. So what is his name? Lil, Lil Ricky James. I don't know. I just know Lil, Lil Nas X is on Instagram like he's like he's a pregnant woman. Oh yeah, yeah. Oh really? Yeah, he's yeah. dropping his and, album, and people and people are upset. Women are upset. I'm like, why are you like? Why is that like? He's doing too much. Like he is. is. That's okay. Let me. Can we say that? I'm just gonna say I don't care if I get canceled. I don't care if you're gay, but he's just doing. Too you're gay doing way too, too much, much, dog. You don't have to do this much. But that's his. That's how he got up, though. That's a problem, though. Why is it a problem now? Why can't, and why I the mean, baby? I'm, right, I'm gonna get canceled. Why the today? baby bump canceled. so low? Huh? The baby bump is so it's low. It's so low. It's, it looks it like looks, an alien. Like it looks unnatural. It but looks of course, like an alien. Like the baby bump is so low. Like it needs to be higher. Like whoever made the baby bump was bad. Like oh, that's that's a little disturbing. It looks yes. Disturbing. I Look, thought y'all went. I thought y'all meant like with a shirt on. <laughs> no, no, naked, no shirt, and they just like put a bump on him, bro. I wish I didn't see that. Yo, I look. It's cool that you're gay, bro. I actually don't care. Actually, the song you put out with um, and it was booty shaking Jack again. Harp. They had the the prison scene at the VMAs. I didn't see that. I didn't actually see it. I just saw the song he got with Jack Harlow. I actually like. I actually like a Great lot. Great song. I fuck with that song. Industry. No uh, was it, was that song. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's some industry. Yeah. Yeah. I love the song. You're gay. That's great. Be representative. Representation. You bringing up this gay thing, bro. Of, because I feel as if like he's marketing it. Like that's odd to me. He's. I mean, I, I can see you could be yourself. How's he doing I don't, that? I don't actually listen to him. I feel like so he's influencing the youth. How does he market it? What? 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 Little, like what? Little boozy. I feel like he's influencing it. Like when he, I don't what, know. What's he on? I mean, from what from Judge like, Joe Brown? <laughs> <laughs> go ahead, go off. Go ahead, I'm go off. Like, I'm just like, this is why. Like kids are seeing this and thinking this is okay. I'm like, that's not like a grown man should. If you gay or not, you shouldn't have no baby, no baby. Yeah, that's this acting OD. or like you you promote it for your album. I'm not gonna lie, that's OD. It's OD. That's OD. Like you could be gay, you could paint your nails, do the art. But you know like, why he does it, bro? Because y'all get on podcasts and talk about it. None of us are never gonna buy this album or even listen to it completely, bro. We just all admitted we listened to that industry song. No, I said an album. Bro, we said we heard it. Bro, this is different. I listen never to gonna, CBL. I, you think I'm gonna? You think I'll listen I'm to the Combi album? But you gotta. Like the before people consume we need him your on a content. podcast. I want to. I want to know what's in his head. I want to know what's going on. He can he sit just right trying below. to sell records and get attention, John. It ain't that complicated, my nigga. Uh, it is. It gotta be. I'm t- John. What do people me, like? John, let me tell you right now. He's I gotta know nigga. what his life is like. Like what? What does he do outside? Like I know people talk he about. Probably this. doesn't have a life. Yeah, he probably most, don't. Yeah, yeah, most artists at that level who. He yeah, they don't have like a social life like that. He probably don't have that much of a social life, bro. I don't want to say that. I'm, I pretend he like hasn't I know dropped these nothing artists. in the middle. He's been we, living. Maybe. He's he been are. eating off that, that one song. I mean, he's working on his album and stuff, but he's been eating off that one song. He's been chilling. No okay, cap. That one song is probably made him so many millions so that, many like, no, he did. Nope. A lot of that money got, um, what you call it? Oh, yeah, because he boinked that shit. Because he, yep. Yep. He was, yeah, bro. He, has, he, he had to split um, that money with Billy Ray Cyrus. Um, no, no, no. Somewhat, it's it's a sample, and it's also um some a portion of the portion of the song somebody else rapped before, or somebody else sung, and he sung it in the thing. And so, like, if you don't oh. get it clear, they can just sue you, and they just take a huge portion of that. Uh, Saint Cisco did the same thing. It's still a huge portion off that. It's still a lot. Yeah, it's still millions. Oh no, it's still a lot. Yeah. But I'm saying it's not as much as you probably. That's tough. Would. He missed out on so many millions. Just Cisco cause... did the same thing on the thong song. He um live he was a part we said live a vida loca. That one part, living a living a vida loca, the person who sung the actual living a vida loca song snatched all that shit up. Damn. I hate that. Four bars Snack. took all your money. Yes, away. four bars. That's that's a YouTube copyright system too. No cap, that's the YouTube copyright. What'd you say? Nigga, all right. <laughs> <laughs> run that back, low. Yeah, like, he said, sit the yeah, low. Play what? my song too. Hold on, uh, okay, okay, put it right. to my ear. Oh yeah, call, oh yeah, call them people. Call yeah, them call boys it. up. Yeah, nah, you gotta be careful, gotta, bro. And I and and not even like a fair portion. Like they had to split that shit like fifty percent. Oh yeah, that nigga got nigga got he got heavy. He got sturdy with that nigga. Hey, bro, that boy said, "Damn, bro, I gotta work a nine to five. No, you don't. Not anymore." That boy said, "Be a local checks for life." <laughs> yeah, you said for life now. I might, I might start baiting rappers. I might just say something catchy and then like do, maybe deliver ads. I know niggas take my bars. 
I, I got I'd, so many bars. Yeah, I, I hope they take my shit so then I could take. That's actually crazy. If you made, that's a hustle. If you ever made you if you made "Living a Vida Loca" that song and then that song blew up crazy, then Cisco just said "Living a Vida Loca" and now <laughs> you're eating off of that nigga song. <laughs> oh, you're set for life. <laughs> Oh, that's yeah, on that song. Okay, but going back to Lil Nas X. Um, yo, bro, it's cool, great. Um, but you're doing a lot. What, doing what's cool or great? The music, what he's pushing. What's he I'm, pushing? I, I think he's. I think he's really, really pushing. Um, what? being open and being one with yourself and accepting that. So you and can't, I'm, and you I'm can't say you appreciate what he's pushing and say he's calm down. I don't. I would. I would hope that that's not who he is on a day to day basis. Cause that sounds that's very annoying if it is, but that's just my perspective. Oh, that's your perspective. Yeah. So you tell him continue to do himself. But if that's stop if it. if that's if that's who he is, then I guess. But I would I would I would be the one to believe that a lot of that stuff is just to get attention to sell records. That's what I think. Like an industry plan. I don't know. I don't know what. He's definitely the, industry plan. Yeah, that's fine. That's uh, I don't know. That. Why you say that? Because he blew up out of nowhere on a song that. Was sampled from a very popular song, so unless he just didn't get that song cleared, how would he ever get that song cleared? Maybe he didn't. Oh, you think that's really fucked? That's the thing I don't know. That nigga's really fucked because he 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 started off being gay and it was a troll, and then he actually became gay. No, I think he was. I think he was gay all the time. He just didn't want to come out though, because it's not. It it definitely wasn't as socially acceptable as it is now back then. So now he came out. He just. He just he's no going back. He never, why would he go back if he's actually gay? Then he's gay. So he's gay for real. But he never did nothing gay. I hate this conversation. How do you know? So how much. do you know that? How do you know that, John? Huh? How do you know that? I I don't know. That's what I'm saying. So why can't you just take him on his word that he's gay? What if he's not? What if okay, he's guys, lying to all the gay please, people? The, please. What is he? What? What if he? What? What if he's lying to the gay people? <laughs> just getting them all roused up. <laughs> <laughs> building a gay army and then because the LGBT KBB oh, they're, like they're trying to get us bro. I have a, have a list have hey a list. little boozy get out of here <laughs> have a list but hey T.I. but the uh, get out of here the, appreciate the, you calling the in man the community is huge right now so it's like marketing through them you know what I'm saying I think it, I think partially the reason why it continues to grow is because of people like him, though, because they they're open and one with themselves. Yeah, and they don't so mind he's it. bringing out more people, and they they have they have to pay him his due diligence, their respects, because he gave them the confidence to come out. So the, all I could do now is stream your music. <laughs> what? So you're telling? Let's be clear. You're telling me he came out because, or he quote unquote came out. Because there was going to be a, a massive gay backing because they because <laughs> they were going to be like, yo, you know what? I am gay. So let me just support this. Yeah, that's so crazy. They, probably like, he, they were nervous and they see him come out. He's doing good for himself. He's like, yeah, be free. He said, like, you're right. I'm going to be free and I'm going to stream Lil Nas X. And I'm a blast it. You know, I'm John a- is being dumb, but this that example exists all across music and all across entertainment, where people you got feel more picking comfortable up guns that never been thugs. consuming the content of people that they relate to. So, like, I know Davis wasn't listening to Kanye like that until Kanye dropped that Jesus is King album, and Davis is a Christian and he believes and he's heavy in that. So, like, he began to relate day. to Kanye. I'm telling you that heavily, Kanye. He was not listening to Kanye growing up like that. No, like, not the way you did with fucking college dropout. And, and, yeah, he won't do that. Well, I'm in it. Dave, well, not Davis was just born around that time. So. <laughs> I knew about that song though. Wait, how old is Davis? Uh, twenty. Shit, no, twenty one. Yeah, twenty one. So he was born in two thousand. He's a year younger than me. Yeah. So he literally, how old are you? Huh? <laughs> I'm three years away. No, from but beating the, that ass. the idea so that Davis, like, like Davis was born when college dropout. Yeah. He was like three years old when college dropout. Came out. I, I understand, but she I'm saying, my money, he, even though I was like nominee. seven. I still listen to like 50 yeah, Cent and Eminem and, yeah, yeah, yeah. and artists. Yeah. And so, so all I'm trying to say is he's being like, I don't know how serious he's being, but no, the idea that you would listen to music of people who you relate to. Yeah. Um, but I don't, I don't think Lil Nas X is going out of the way. What do you think they, they play at the gay bars? They're playing. Oh, the, I thought you said, I, I, thought, I thought you said he's giving, he's, he's even giving us gay bars, no, which they, he actually is. No cap. 